Hey Jumbo fam, welcome back to yet another unboxing video. I know we've done a lot of these lately, but this one's super exciting. Um, this company E-Star, which made a trumpet that I actually reviewed a couple months back, I think in September, sent me a pocket trumpet. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do an unboxing and a quick little review of it. This video is sponsored by E-Star, so if you wanna go check out the pocket trumpet once I'm done reviewing it, you can get to it at the link in the description down below. But they didn't tell me to say anything at all, so I'm gonna give an honest review of it. So with that said, let's zoom in to the floor and start unboxing. All right, welcome back to the floor once again. If you were here for my last unboxing video, you know that this is a different floor. So just little Easter eggs to keep up with, you know? You gotta keep up with your floors. All right, so let's start off by opening this. I obviously actually have no idea what's in here, but uh, we're gonna see. I'm pretty sure it's a pocket trumpet, but I guess it could end up being anything. Looks like to start off we have another box in a box. Very exciting. We'll set that off to the side. So here we have looks like U Star pocket trumpet. There you go. Fragile. Alright, so let's zoom into the box and start unboxing this. Alright, here we go. It's a different angle. Alright, so let's start by opening this box up. So first off, let's see, pull it back here, throw this off to the side. So looks like we have, so just like with their beginner trumpet, it's a pretty affordable pocket trumpet and it comes with probably everything you need is my assumption. So we just have a bag here, nice little light carrying case. Certainly a lot smaller than a normal trumpet case, obviously. This is it compared to the size of my hand, so obviously pretty small, very portable. You could literally just stick this in a backpack. Um, so before we open the middle up, looks like we have just a little pocket out here. Um, nothing in here. Oh, we have a carrying strap, so let's put that on real quick. All right. Now I can carry it like a purse, exactly what I've always wanted out of my trumpet. <laughs> All right, let's uh, open it up now. first opening here we go so it looks like we have silica gel the most important part and we have whatever the heck this is just a card not important okay we have gloves which I know are super important but let's put them on because why the heck not don't want to get our trumpet greasy I've it's never stopped me before but why not now you know I look like I'm about to go be a butler I mean, you know, I'm certainly not reviewing the gloves, but you know, as far as gloves that come with trumpets go, relatively high quality gloves, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. And when we have a cleaning cloth to polish the trumpet, you know, keep it nice. That's always good to have. I think I have about 50 of these. All right, we got cleaning uh, brushes. Come in trumpets too. Good to keep the pocket trumpet clean. Looks like we have a mouthpiece, which is really good. So this really does come with everything that you would need to start playing. I believe this is a 7C mouthpiece, which goes with most trumpets and anything. Yep, just a nice little 7C mouthpiece. Basic for beginner. Nice and shiny new, that's always nice, right? We like our mouthpieces to be shiny new until you play them for about a week and then they become all nasty. My mouthpieces currently don't look this nice, so that's nice to have. <laughs> Let's put this back in there. All right, we have basic valve oil, a cleaning snake. So that's all the paraphernalia. Now let's get to the actual trumpet. Here we have our pocket trumpet. So this is a bit different than the mini pocket trumpet that I unboxed um, about a couple weeks ago because that was a mini pocket trumpet, so it was a bit more compressed which would likely have more tuning issues. Pocket trumpets do sometimes have tuning issues, but certainly a mini pocket trumpet would be worse than a normal pocket trumpet, which this is. So it's definitely smaller than a trumpet, even smaller than a cornet, but not as small as a mini pocket. So here we have it at first glance. Feels pretty heavy, feels like 
basically they've compressed a whole trumpet into here which would make sense it's got the same tubing as a normal trumpet um, I think the only difference I don't have a strong understanding of it is that the bell is smaller so I'm gonna grab my trumpet and then we can kind of look at them side by side and just kind of see what that looks like all right so here we are we got our trumpet my normal trumpet box strad and then here we have the pocket trumpet so if I uh, hold them in my hands I can say they're actually almost the exact same weight I can't really tell the difference um, there might be a slight difference but nothing that's super noticeable now obviously if we hold them next to each other our difference in size is pretty noticeable um, obviously the pocket trumpet is way smaller um, however it is actually kind of thicker which is an interesting thing to think about let me see if I can hold them up to the camera so that you can see that yeah so it's a bit wider and I think that's just because the bell obviously of the trumpet is now pushed up so it's about right here on the pocket trumpet so that's what they look like from all sides obviously pocket trumpet a lot cleaner than my trumpet because it's brand new so let's just take a look at the pocket trumpet and everything you have to look at obviously normal valves normal everything I think as I was saying the bell is actually smaller so here's your bell size comparison here's the pocket trumpet on the right trumpet on the left so obviously pocket trumpet a lot smaller as the bell than the normal trumpet and a bit wider so it might produce a bit of a different tone than the trumpet which is to be expected so yeah as we can see we have all the normal effects of a trumpet we got two uh, spit valves right here and then yeah I think I assuming we would use these for tuning slides so this is actually our third valve tuning slide right here that we use our thumb see as we can see it actually connects to the third valve so what we would normally kick out with our ring finger we're gonna kick out with our thumb instead on this alright so let's zoom out a little bit and just see kinda what it sounds like I'm just gonna do a basic review of the sound and then in a later video uh, we'll do a full review of it alright so here we go let's just give it a basic test to see what the sound sounds like and then yeah you can tell me what you think um, I can play it next to my main trumpet but we're not gonna be able to do a super good review right now uh, because this is just a basic unboxing, but later on, don't worry, in a future video, we will do a full comparison of the pocket trumpet with the main trumpet. So here we go. Alright, so on first thought, the trumpet obviously it plays just like a normal trumpet. We've got a 7C, so there's no reason it wouldn't. Um, just from what I can hear right away, it's obviously going to have a little bit more tuning issues than a normal trumpet, but that's just normal for a pocket trumpet. Um, so just on very basic review, obviously I didn't do very much playing, I can say that it actually seems like a really nice trumpet. It's got uh, good quality parts, the valves move really nicely, which is obviously important when you're getting something, especially for a cheaper price. And, uh, yeah, it works really well. We're going to compare it in a future video to my normal trumpet and let you guys all hear what that sounds like and what the difference is. But as far as a pocket trumpet for more beginner players, I think it's a great way to go. It's super affordable compared to a lot of other pocket trumpets, which is a good thing uh, when you're just starting off and you don't know if you want to fully commit to a pocket trumpet yet. Super affordable, um, super portable, which is obviously one of the huge benefits to a pocket trumpet. If you're traveling a lot, you don't want to lug around a full trumpet all the time, then a pocket trumpet is a good way to go. Um, make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this pocket trumpet and also let me know if you want me to do more unboxings in the future. I'm going to be receiving a lot of really cool products in the future that I'd love to do unboxings of um, and they're just fun videos for me to make so I'd love to hear what you guys have to think of that. Also leave a like rating down below if you enjoyed this video and make sure to go check out the pocket trumpet um, through eStar. The link is in the description down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.